everybody welcome back to the channel uh, today I have a 2021 Toyota Supra 3.0 and um, I'm loving this thing so far now I know what you're gonna say hey cool BMW and yeah you're right it is a lot of BMW uh, Toyota did team up with BMW to produce this car and in the interior um, you know a lot of this stuff actually did come straight out of a BMW and it, it uh, is apparent uh, but from the outside I think the styling is very much uh, Supra styling um, so everything else though is BMW you know a lot of the powertrain the engine the transmission uh, BMW and you can even actually find some BMW branding on the actual uh, parts themselves so, yes, it is uh, partly BMW, but is that really a bad thing? Oh, gosh. This thing pulls, man. Oh, yeah. Uh, I love it. I'm driving through some canyon roads right now. And um, it is just fantastic. The steering is uh, really responsive. Um, suspension feels um, definitely more forgiving than other sports cars, where if you um, hit a bump or something, it feels like you're scraping your butt on the road. Um, but I'm not getting that here. So some complaints that I've heard uh, about this Supra is that when you roll down the window, the wind buffeting noise is just, it's too much to handle. So let's see how that is. Oh yeah. So I'm going to try and roll down both windows and see what that's like. So it's not as bad when you roll down both windows, but that's something you're not gonna wanna be doing for a long time. It's definitely uncomfortable. With one window down, yeah, you, that is just unbearable. Two windows down, uncomfortable. So check out this really cool display when you're in sport mode. Um, you can actually show the horsepower and torque. Show what it can do here. So the MSRP on this car is around 55, 60 ish if you can find one that a dealer hasn't marked up. Now I was looking uh, online at like Carvana and stuff like that that you can find one of these gently used for around that price range. So I mean you're getting a decent value here and this is just a great sports car. I think this is for the person who really wants to, you know, take it out on the weekend, enjoy it, uh, maybe even take it out onto the track. So it's really more of a, a play thing than it is a daily driver. Now I'm sure there's, uh, you know, some teenage boys out there that are daily driving this, and sure, it's probably great for them. Um, but it's not practical in that sense that you want to drive it every day. I mean, there's not even a back seat in here, so you really can't transport anybody. But man, this thing is so fun to drive. It just feels so planted. I mean, these it is slightly wet out here, and I'm still just sticking to the ground. It puts the power down so well. And when you're in sport mode and you give it a downshift, it'll give you a nice little blurb on the exhaust. So also the interior, you know, sitting in here, it's, it's not bad, uh, but it's definitely not special. But the original Supra, the interior wasn't special either. So 
you know, you can't fault it for that. Um, you know, it has some nicer finishes. I like the carbon fiber touches. Um, the screen here is, uh, it's not the greatest, you know, it's the BMW style. So it's, it's, uh, it's lacking there. There's, there's better, uh, infotainment systems out there, but, um, honestly, you're not buying this car for that. You're buying this car because it's fast and it's fun. <laughs> That never gets old. So the, the heart of this thing comes from BMW. And it's their power plant. Um, you know, people really wish Toyota would have put their flair on it. And I agree. Um, it would have been fantastic if they would have just, um, you know, built this from the ground up. And I get why they didn't. Because, you know, this is a limited production, right? This isn't a huge money maker for them. So it's understandable. Um, from the exterior, you know, it screams Supra. I think the styling looks great, and uh, I think it's definitely a, a throwback to the original. However, everything else screams BMW. So, like I said before, not necessarily a bad thing, but, you know, purists might feel differently. All right, everybody, let me just sum up my thoughts here. So I have thoroughly enjoyed the Supra. I really think it is a true sports car. It was a blast to drive. Uh, the speed, handling, acceleration, the noise it makes is just fantastic. Um, but if you are in the market, there's other cars you can consider in this price range. For example, you could get a BMW M2, Audi TT, Mustang, Camaro, so there is a lot of options out there, but if you are in the market, definitely consider the Supra. I think it has been a blast to drive, and if you do end up getting one, I don't think you'll be disappointed. So thanks everybody for watching. We'll catch you next time.